Good morning, everybody. Silas back again today on this beautiful day. It poured down rain last night and it cooled it down a ton. I'm sure it's going to get hot and humid today, but that's okay. We've got a lot to get done, so let's get busy. As far as what's going on today, I've got a load on my trailer now that I loaded up the other day. I'm going to haul that in, get that off the claw. Then I'm going to go haul a few loads out of the yard, most likely. Uh, I'm not sure how many loads I have there. I'm thinking two or three. Then I've got to go pick up a load of boxes because we're getting ready to ship out a load of catalytic converters. Then after that, potentially, I'm going to go look at some junk that's for sale. I don't know if that's going to happen or not. If that doesn't happen, I'll find something else to do, but I guess we'll just kind of go along and see how the day goes. I loaded this up in one of my previous videos. Not a very heavy load, but it kind of cleans up a little bit of room out here, makes a little bit of space. The biggest thing is, is I was tired of coming out here and getting my truck in the morning and having to drive right past the shredder and go to the yard to load up stuff. Whereas I figured if I load this up, I can go by the shredder, drop off a load, then go load up more stuff. And then at the end of the day, when I come back out here, I can grab one of my old cars and bring out here. I thought that would be a really good idea. Uh, save some trips that way. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. dump truck here was clear full of trash and I was trying to get the converter off without dumping it over and unfortunately it did not work so it made a gigantic mess all over the ground so I had to pick all that back up there was metal and trash and you name it but at least the converter's good I don't have my saws all I left it in the other truck so I couldn't just cut it off but I've got a bunch of cars that got dumped off overnight I've got this navigator I've got an HHR I'm not sure what else is over here I think just random junk Yeah, just junk, so I'm going to grab all these. Uh, some of these the converters are already gone. I think the converter is still on the blue car and on the HHR, so I have to get those off. But after that, I think it's just a matter of pulling the aluminum wheels off and hauling them down to the shredder.
All right, we are locked and loaded. We are ready to go. So I'm gonna run this one down there. It's getting humid out here. It's, I'm sweating just a little bit, just a little bit. There's no breeze at all. I know I've been mad at the wind, all this wind we've been having lately, but it went from tons of wind to no wind. Go figure. One of these days, I'm gonna have a work truck with air conditioning. Not today, but one of these days. Maybe, maybe next year, maybe for next time, I'll have a work truck with air conditioning. <laughs> it is warm out today. I'm probably just gonna haul, I got this load here, and I got two more loads ready to go, so I'm probably just gonna haul those down there. I've gotta go get those boxes yet, so I got a lot to do, but I don't think I'm gonna crush any more cars today. I just, I'm gonna save that for morning time this time of year. They're not very busy down there today. They got me in and out of there quick. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw the next bundle on, run it down there, have to see what time it is. I'm supposed to be at the box place at one o'clock. So I think I have just enough time to run this bundle in. If I can get this bundle in right here, I don't have to strap that one down or chain it down or anything. So I might have time to come back and get that one over there as well, but we'll see what happens. If I don't have time to come back and get that one, what I'll do is I'll go get the boxes, bring those here, unload those real quick, take that in, then load the boxes back up and head over to the other place. That's a beautiful load right there. Both of those cars just came in. They went to a mechanic shop and both of those cars needed more work than what they were worth to fix. They were both in beautiful condition, but people didn't want to fix them, so they surrendered their titles and sold them for scrap for what they owed on them. I may not have air conditioning, but at least I got wing windows in this truck. Just that little bit of airflow while you're driving down the road makes a world of difference. And this load here, like I said, I don't chain them down when there's just two cars crushed together like that. It doesn't roll. I mean, it's flat on the trailer. The cars are locked up, the wheels are all bent and everything, so they're not going to roll off and it's only five blocks. But if I stack them up and they're not crushed together, then I'll go ahead and throw a chain over them. And if I was going long distance, yeah, I would chain them down good. I don't drive very fast either. I just take it nice and easy, accelerate slow, decelerate slow. Just take it nice and easy. And some people don't like that, they'll ride right on my bumper. People will flip me off, things like that. But like I always say, if you don't like the way I drive, get off the sidewalk. It's not that hard. Well, I got those boxes loaded up and I thought, you know what, I'll just check them out to my place now rather than have to unload them and load them back up and strap them down twice. It's really not that far out of the way. It's about halfway in between where I crush cars and where my place is. So that is no big deal. I get to these railroad tracks just as the arms start going down and I have to sit here and wait on this extremely long chain train. I can't even see the end of it. I, mean, I can see way, way down there and I have no clue where the end of this train is. So I'm gonna be here for a little bit. I can finally see the end, way down there. This one here even had an engine in the middle because it was so long. I was thinking I didn't get any sleep last night hardly, about three or four hours, and I didn't have time to eat anything today. I'm absolutely starving. I'm gonna run myself into the ground, so I better go get something to eat. And the only place I can really go when I got my trailer on is the barbecue place. So I'm gonna run to Roy's Barbecue real quick. Well, unfortunately, they are closed. There's a big sign in the window saying closed. We'll be back open as soon as we can. So I don't know what happened. I don't know if somebody got sick or what happened. It's a, it's a small, uh, locally family owned place. So uh, they don't have that many employees, so if one of the main ones goes down, there's nobody to take over and run it. But it's hard to tell, maybe they're just on vacation, I have no clue. What I do know is that I get to go hungry today because I can't go through a drive-thru with my big truck and trailer, and uh, I know I have stuff going on this evening. By the time I get off work, I'll have just enough time to take a shower and get to a meeting, and I will not have time to eat tonight. So, I'll try again tomorrow. But here's the boxes. I went ahead and bought 20 of them this time. Last time we only bought 10 and uh, we burn those up pretty quick. So I went ahead and bought 20 this time. That's way more than I need. I'll just take whatever we don't use, which will be most of them, and I'll stash them in the building up front, and they'll be out there out of the weather. These boxes here, we used to have to pay like 25, 30 bucks a piece and buy them new. But then we found a company that was selling them used, and at first they were selling them for four bucks a piece, unreal. And now they sell them for 11 bucks a piece. So they've almost tripled in value for what we started paying for them, but compared to what we used to pay for them back in the day, they're a lot less. But a new box now, is like 50 bucks so new boxes are crazy expensive too i did have to pay 11 bucks for the pallet i didn't realize they charged that much for pallets they asked if i wanted them on a pallet or not and i said yeah sure go ahead and i had to pay almost 12 bucks for that if i would have known they were going to do that i would have just taken my own pallet but it's okay just the convenience factor of having them on a pallet already it's worth that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to grab the skid steer and i'm going to take those up front stick them in the building and then i guess i'll go back to hauling cars i might look around out here and see if i can find something that i can load on here and haul in for scrap I don't know if I have anything ready though, so I'll just have to look around and see.
And there we go, I just set them right in here. They'll kind of be in the way right here, but what I can do is just leave them on the pallet, and so every time I need to take them out, I can take them out, set them outside, do what I need to do in here, and then I can put them back in. But uh, I plan on gathering up all the catalytic converters out of storage and bringing them in here to package them, and then I can load them out of here. But I don't want to do that until I know that I get them packaged and shipped out right away because I don't want them just sitting out here. Well, I decided just to come back over here to the yard and get this last load out of here, and I got a slight problem. My chain decided to come apart. I don't know how it happened or when it happened, but I get over here and the hook was laying over there like that, and the key was laying beside it, and the chain was laying beside that. So somehow it all came apart just riding on the trailer. So I don't know how that happened, but I'm gonna have to try to find something to put it all back together. Luckily, I still have the pin. If I would've lost that, that would've been bad news. Now I can still hook my come along in the links of this and pull it down tight and just hook that hook on this side. The problem with that is, is that the come along gets bound up in here and I can't get it out very good. I found a rusty piece of wire. It's not very good, but it's what I got, so it's what I'm gonna use for now, and that'll get me going again for the time being. Okay, this is what's going on. I'm tired, and I'm dragging bad, and I keep making mistakes and forgetting things, so at this point in time, it's just not safe for me to be here. It's only three o'clock. Technically, I've only worked seven hours a day, and for my salary, I'm supposed to work eight hours a day, but technically, it's supposed to be 40 hours a week is what it really comes out to, and I worked nine hours Monday and nine hours yesterday, so I'm actually already an hour ahead, so. I'm just going to call it quits today. There was more I wanted to get done, but I'm just going to worry about those catalytic converters tomorrow. Uh, in the two hours I plan on working today on those, I could have got a lot done, but I've got some in my truck already, but I'm just going to take them home. I'll bring them back tomorrow. I'm going to go relax for a little bit. So I will see you guys in the morning. And good morning. We are back again today. I'm feeling a whole lot better. I actually got to bed by 1130 last night. Uh, it's always an amazing night when I can get to bed before midnight. So. I'm feeling pretty good today. I'm out here now. I got the truck already drove in. I don't have that many catalytic converters here, just what I've ripped off over the last couple days. I shouldn't have left them laying this long, but I guess I got brave, but I don't usually do that, but I'm gonna get those gathered up. Before I work on that though, I got this van here, just came in. This thing weighs almost six tons. Extremely heavy van, but they've got it packed. Packed, clear, full of stuff. There's a lot of heavy stuff in here. I don't have my trailer here today or else I'd just run this on down to the shredder. Oh, there's a catalytic converter. I need to dig that out and see if it's good. I can probably climb in there and stick something down in it and make sure it's full before I dig it out. It's probably empty, honestly, is why it's in here. I can't imagine they would throw one in there. But yeah, I may, I may just go ahead and crush this here and throw it up in the dumpster. I got room for one car in there. Although, no, that's right. I have a guy bringing a load of little stuff in today, so I better not do that. So. I'll probably just wait on this. And I'll wait till I have my truck and trailer here again. For now though, I'm just gonna set it inside out of the way with the loader real quick. Then I'm gonna work on these catalytic converters. That's my main goal for today, is to get the catalytic converters ready. That way, as soon as I can get me a truck and get those shipped out. I've just got a few converters laying in here. Really not that many. Probably about 30 or so. The ones I just pulled off. Got a few laying over here. I was trying to work on cleaning that pile out, but with that rain we got the other day, I'm gonna have to wait probably till next week to get that cleaned out yeah I've got all these here uh, I hope I brought my sawzall because I got to cut a few of these down like that and there got to cut the muffler off that and has too much pipe that and has too much pipe that and there probably be okay it's kind of crazy it's supposed to be almost a hundred degrees today today's Thursday and Saturday it's supposed to be 44 degrees so <laughs> big temperature change coming this weekend it's supposed to cool down a little bit tomorrow and then really cool down Saturday and Sunday and then get right back up close to 100 again next week. So I'm not too sure what Canada sent it down here, but hopefully it doesn't stick around too long. Well, that's a bummer. I left my Sawzall in the other truck. I put all my blades and my battery and my charger and everything else in this truck, but then I went off and left the Sawzall in the other truck. So I guess what I'm gonna do with these that still have pipe on them is I'm just gonna go ahead and load them up, throw them in the truck, and I'll take them over there to the other truck, get the Sawzall and cut them down over there. Don't know what else to do. I've pulled off more converters than I thought. I've got quite a few in here and I've still got more to put in here. I didn't realize there was quite this many, which it's kind of an optical illusion. There's quite a few mufflers and exhaust pipe pieces and stuff like that in here, but still, I think I've got about, uh, I think about 45 in here so far, maybe 50, and I've got probably another, just guessing 30 or so to put in here, so I've got about 80 converters out of here. Okay, now I'm finally gonna get around to unloading these converters. Had a bunch of phone calls I had to take care of, had to call and check on converters, and they are dropping in value, but if we get them sold right away, I think we'll be okay. I uh, talked to a guy on cars, and he's saying that probably next Thursday or Friday, which that'll be old news by the time this video comes out, 
but it's looking like they're going to go down 50 maybe even 75 dollars a ton it's not looking good for cars at all but it's definitely looking like we're heading for a recession how bad of a recession i don't know but i guess we'll figure that out as we go we've been through them before in this business the big one back in 2008 that was that was pretty rough i remember cars got down to i think they were 80 dollars a ton is what we were getting paid and i think appliances we were paying five dollars a ton for appliances and it was pretty crazy people were dumping them off like crazy and that's actually what we survived on is we were getting so much stuff for free because people didn't want to drive clear across town to go to the landfill to dump stuff off so they would just bring it to us out at our place and they would dump it off over there and give it to us and so we pack it in dumpsters and sell it for 80 bucks a ton and just enough to survive Slowly but surely getting these things cut down. This would be way faster with a chop saw, but I don't have a chop saw, so got to make do with what I got. All I have is a sawzall. Normally those blades do really good, but whatever this stuff is made out of, I went through two blades on that, and I couldn't get cut all the way through even with that. I had to end up snapping it the rest of the way off. So that was pretty intense. And then that one, this in here, look at that pipe. That is insane. Double walled up against each other. Man, I did two cuts on that and ruined one blade. But other than that, it's been going pretty good. I've got about four more blades, uh, so that should be more than enough. Most of these, stuff like this here, I'll be able to cut that, 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 that. I'll be able to probably cut all the rest of these on one blade. I don't see any more hard pipe uh, converters here, so. It is hot and humid out here today. I am absolutely covered in sweat. I am drenched right now. It is so humid out here, so I'm kind of looking forward to that cold front coming through, but I have to get the converters done today, so I don't have time to wait on it to get here. And then I threw all these over here to the side. The reason why I do that is because I count these as I load them. And aftermarkets and wires uh, count as a different grade, so I have to count those separately. And I don't have to count anything. I could just trust them and send them to them. But just to make sure we're on the same page, I like to count what we send, make sure it's comparable to what they say we have. But I've got 93 in here so far. I should be able to get all of these in here yet. Uh, so it'll be a little over 100. I don't know if we'll quite get them all in there or not, but I'm gonna do my best to get them all in here. If not, I'll put some in the next box. There we go. My saws all went ahead and died, so I just went ahead and threw all the wires and aftermarkets up on top. But I got 94 regular converters in there, 8 aftermarkets, and 5 wires. I've got a few down here that I wasn't quite able to cut before my battery died, so I put the battery on the charger, and we'll throw these in the next box. But what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go to where the other converters are in storage, get those loaded up, and I'm just going to take boxes with me in my trailer. That way I can just load them in boxes on the trailer, bring them back out here, and unload them with the skid steer. Now I'm not going to take you guys with me there because nobody needs to know where the storage is. The only people that know where we keep our catalytic converters is my dad and me. And actually a couple of the places where I keep catalytic converters, I'm the only one that knows. So <laughs> that's kind of bad because if something ever happened to me, my dad wouldn't know where his own converters are. But it's good that way because we haven't had any converters stolen for a number of years. Now we used to have converters stolen all the time because we'd actually keep them like out here or we'd keep them at the yard and they'd be accessible. And I mean, I try to try to hide them a little bit, but people would find out where they were and they'd break in and steal them. And that's one reason why I quit selling parts is because people would come out looking for parts and they'd scope the place out and come back and steal stuff at night. So it's just been a kind of a combination of things is one, we don't keep converters around anymore hardly and we don't sell parts. So it eliminated a ton of theft doing that. But anyway, I'm going to jump in the truck and trailer, go take care of that. And I will see you guys when I come back with the pallets loaded. And I am done finally. That was a lot of converters. That was a lot of hauling. Just got back with the last load and I am out of time. I don't have time to unload these. I'll get them in the morning. I am absolutely filthy. This arm isn't too bad. But this arm, well, I guess I washed off a lot of it. I was sweating so bad a lot of it just came ahead and came off. But earlier, about halfway through, I picked up a catalytic converter that was covered in greasy oil. And it was just caked. I mean, I got most of it off, it looks like. 
then I cut myself a couple times and I was bleeding everywhere. <laughs> it was a lot of work. I'm exhausted. But I'll show you what all we got done. These are the last two boxes here. I think there's 150 in this one. And this in here is not quite full. I got to finish filling it later. I need to find a few more to put in there. Pull some off some cars. Then it'll be full. But my dad had these. I went by his place. And I saw these steps. And I thought, man, those are pretty cool. I think I could use those out here at my place. So I grabbed them. And they work pretty good. They're brand new, never used. They came from a factory. They're pretty cool. They got a little bit of dent down here at the very bottom step, but that's not a big deal. I figured what I could do with these is, is take them out back next to my junkyard cabin and put them up beside it. That way I can get on the roof a little bit easier. And then I can build a rack up on the roof. That way I want to go up there at night or whatever, I can do that. So I thought they'd be pretty cool for that. And they're aluminum, so I don't have to worry about them getting all rusty and looking ugly. They'll always be shiny like this. So I've got the two boxes on my trailer. I've got the box I did earlier out here, the ones that were in the back of my truck. And then I've got one, two, three, four, five more in here. As you can see, we have been busy, busy. I don't know what is that, five plus three is eight. So I got eight boxes of them now. I don't think I've ever sold that many, well, to this company anyway, at once. We've sold a lot more than that in the past to one company, but I don't know exactly how many's in here. I know like this in here has got like 120, I think there's 130 in there. This one, there's only like 60 in here. Yeah, it looks like 64 in here. But that's because there's three of these great big diesels and then there's some more of these great big diesels like this in here as well. So they took up all the room. That and over there, I don't remember how many's in there. I think 110. And then there's not quite as many in here once again because I've got this gigantic diesel taking up so much room. I think there's like 90 in there. So yeah, all together, I think, I think we are at, whew, do some math on my head real quick. You know, we're pushing 900, 950 converters. So almost a thousand converters. That's pretty good. I think the most we ever sold at once, if I remember right, was like 2,500 or 3,000. That was years ago, and that's back when they averaged like 60 bucks a piece. We thought we were making a lot of money. <laughs> but back then, we could buy converters for 10 bucks a piece because nobody else was doing it. Nobody else was really, really considered converters to be a thing. Nobody ever stole them. You didn't have to worry about any of the, buying stolen cats and, and uh, registering every, everything you buy with the state. None of that existed back then. It was a lot simpler. Now we honestly probably make less money on the ones that we buy because I have to cut the profit margin so thin and then I've got to register everything and it, it's just a ton of paperwork and headache. And then every now and then, I'll be honest, probably once, maybe twice a year, somebody will bring us a stolen converter and it'll seem legit. We'll buy it. The police will come out. Did you buy something from this person? I show them, yeah, right here. They say that one's stolen. So then they take it away from us and we just lose it. It happens. I understand there's just really no way around it. And that's why we try to be honest with everything we do is just because we want to be up and up on everything. We don't want to be known as the place to take your stolen cats. And we pay for everything with a check. We don't do cash. And so that drives a lot of the, the fishy people away. I just realized I got a bunch of dirt all over my forehead too. I am filthy. <laughs> I was supposed to have a haircut tonight, but he canceled. And hopefully I can get in tomorrow. If not, I don't know what I'm going to do because I got a lot going on next week. So it's way too hot for this much hair. I don't mind hair up on top, but on the sides, I don't like that much hair. But with that, I'm going to head out. I've got a swap meet to go to in the morning. That's going to be pretty cool. I don't, I'm not going to really buy stuff to resell. I used to go there and buy a lot of it to resell. Not this year. I'm just going to go look for cool stuff. And then after that, I've got a guy coming to buy that Mustang race car. And then after that, uh, I think i got another guy coming to town. I can't remember if he's coming for sure or not. I'll have to get a hold of him tonight and make sure. And then Saturday, I'll probably do tomorrow and Saturday together. i got some really cool stuff going on Saturday. So that'll be the next video. You guys can see that as the next video I post after this one. That's going to be all for this one, and you may be thinking, why in the world are you showing all these converters on camera? By the time this video comes out, I'm so far behind, these things will be long gone. They won't even exist as catalytic converters anymore. They'll be all decanned and everything processed, and they'll just be precious metals in somebody's vault somewhere. But with that, I'll let you all go. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. If you did, please give me a thumbs up. I hope you have an absolutely fantastic rest of your day, and remember to get out there and find an adventure. We'll see you next time.